Sometimes a Major League Baseball player has a reputation for being a great player, but the numbers don't really stack up. Other times, someone can be completely underrated. So today, I'm going to play a game with David Ardsma, and it's called Who You Got? I'm James DeGreek. And I'm the DA. And welcome to Man Cave Sport. Ards, I've got a fun little game for you today. I've got a couple of players that I'm going to throw at you right now. And before you start looking at their stats, I want your immediate thought. Okay. So if you were a GM of a 500 team and you had unlimited resources to sign one of these two players after their first nine years in Major League Baseball, who would you take? The players in question are New York Yankees legend Derek Jeter or New York Mets shortstop Francisco Lindor. David, who you got? Ooh, ooh. All right, nine years into their career. So we're looking at 2002-ish for Jeter, 2001, 2002-ish for Jeter. Lindor would be about now, right? And I'm a 500 team. Yes. I got to go with Jeter. Got to go with Jeter. I, I know the, the upside on the ability on the field with Lindor. There's an upside there. But, dude, I they're just – Jeter to me – Mr. in baseball, Mr. Clutch, just always there. The the guy that always seems to be people rally around him. You can take a mediocre team around Derek Jeter and make that team really good. Okay. Now I've seen the numbers, so I'm not going to go into it too hard with the numbers. But I want to kick back at you a little bit talking about what you just said. Yes, Derek Jeter, Mr. Clutch. But if you're a 500 team and you add Jeter, are you going to the playoffs? Are you going to have the ability for him to be clutch? Because defensively, Lindor is way better. And in my opinion, offensively, Lindor is way better. Yeah, you know, Lindor could be better on the field. Without a doubt, I'm seeing like the pure raw ability Lindor, better defensively, better offense. You have more power. You have more ability around that stuff. If I'm a 500 team, though, I, if I'm and I'm looking at and I'm going, okay, do I just want to add a player with some stats? That's the problem with Jeter's. Like his the intangibles. Like there, I don't know if there's a player ever in the history of baseball that had more intangibles, more of those things you can't teach, more of those things that you just around them it's it's the tom brady effect where they're better quarterbacks every single position where they're better numbers where they're better thing yes but there's just something about jeter just he figured out how to win and if i'm a 500 team i need jeters i need nine jeters i need nine average players with just incredible ability to come through and win baseball games i'm trying to win baseball games you can't like you can't just do that with the with numbers and and to me Lindor, for how great he is, like, what has he done for the Mets? What has he done? What has he come through with? When have you ever seen somebody rally behind me? Like, dude, Lindor is a incredible, like, a leader. He's the captain. He's that, like, and you just see the Mets. I've, ne I have not seen the Mets take a step forward since the moment he's been there. All right. Well, I sent you an email earlier with the stats for the first nine years. I want you to take a look at it and let's see if you change your tune once you do that. All right. Let's see it. So we're looking at Lindor to Jeter. First nine Correct. years, right? Lindor's beating him in war. Games played, whatever. Um, hits. Jeter's got 200 more hits. Wow. Home runs. Lindor's got almost 100 more home runs. And 70 more RBI, 60, you know, 60 plus. Or stolen bases of whatever. Batting average, we know the difference. Jeter has 200 more hits. Slugging. Yes. Four championships. Yeah, it's funny. Jeter never had a cold glove. In those years that's interesting i would have thought somebody would have voted for him in my opinion he's been overrated defensively he made all the routine plays but he didn't have any range yeah i'll get I'll, I'll i'll absolutely give you that and that's the beauty of that position that's why it's so great just make the routine play man that's a big leagues i just need the routine play and i think that's the thing about it is every single play he could make he did make it's beautiful i don't even compare it here to me, yes, Lindor has more, brings more to the table with war, but you cannot count Jeter's war on paper. It doesn't work. That's not how his war works. So you're still taking Derek Jeter? 100%. Not even thinking about it. Well, I'm taking Francisco Lindor, and that's not because I'm a Jeter hater. As you know, I'm pretty down the, uh, 
you know, I'm pretty even keeled when it comes to these kind of things. But I want to see what the viewers are going to say, so make sure you go down into the comments and give us your opinion. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. More likes equals more great content for you. And if you haven't, subscribe now.